former student at Umea University in Sweden has strung a 3D printer from the ceiling using fishing line, and he's currently 3D printing his own Tower of Babel, much like a spider spins its web. Torbjörn Ludvigsen took a RepRap 3D printer and created what he calls the hang printer. Using fishing line attached to the ceiling and three lateral anchored lines, Ludvigsen has created a low-cost 3D printer that is capable of printing larger objects than any commercially available large format 3D printer, all with a resolution of less than one millimeter. And what does he charge for such an innovation? Nothing. He gave it away for free. The open source specs are all available on GitHub and you can make it on your own for a little bit more than $200 in materials. Ludvigsen started working on the hang printer as a student when he was motivated to find a way to bring 3D printer production costs down. He figured that the enclosure accounted for almost half of the cost of the 3D printer, so he decided to lose it. While it doesn't appear as though the tower will reach the heavens anytime soon, well, I mean, unless he has like an endless supply of materials and just a lot of fishing line, the structure, I mean, where, and also hang it. I mean, he's gotta hang the fishing line from the heavens. You know, hold this for me! Grab it! Ah, useless! The structure is already more than 12 feet tall, and he plans on printing for another full day at Slippery Umea Arts Campus, where the installation is part of the PLUS Project Innovation Initiative. You can find more information or help sponsor Ludvigsen's continued efforts at bountyscore.com. The design is still early in the development process and working out some bugs, but it could prove to be a really cheap way to print really big, tall. Come on, get it this time. Come on! <laughs> Farm to table is a social movement, or agenda, depending on like where you land on the subject. But it tries to include more locally sourced organic foods on the family dinner table. But what if we solved another sustainability issue with a much less catchy slogan? Farm to tire. Farm to tire. You'll get it. Ohio State University researchers have found a way to take petroleum-based filler used in manufacturing tires and replace it with food waste, which could solve three problems. It could make rubber products more sustainable, reduce American dependence on foreign oil, and keep waste out of landfills. Katrina Cornish has spent years looking into new domestic rubber sources. She even made rubber out of dandelions. But her new patent-pending method takes eggshells and tomato peels and replaces carbon black, which makes up about 30% of your typical tire. So why eggs and tomatoes? Well, because she wants the shells and the skins. Americans consume about 100 billion eggs each year, and half of them are broken in commercial food factories and just thrown away. Americans also eat 13 million tons of tomatoes per year, most of them canned or processed, which is just another problem for another day. But commercial tomatoes have thick skins that are also tossed when making processed products. The new rubber doesn't even look black. It's more of a reddish brown, depending on how much eggshell or tomato is in it. The new rubber made with farm to tire fillers has exceeded industrial standards for performance, particularly strength while maintaining flexibility, which could open up new applications for rubber. <laughs> and while we're on the topic of tires, did you see the new Goodyear concept tires from the Geneva Auto Show? I mean, the tomatoes and eggshells might be a better fit for budget tires, once Goodyear makes these 3D printed, artificially intelligent maglev spheres a reality. The Eagle 360 Urban Concept Tire Tread would be 3D printed based on your tendencies as a driver and where you're located. They'll be connected to the car using magnetic levitation, which means that they're only connected via magnetic fields. The tires will also have a brain or artificial intelligence that will sense the road condition to morph the tire tread and interact with other vehicles. You heard that correctly. Instead of standard sensors, the Eagle 360 Urban envisions a tire that has a bionic skin with a built-in sensor network that not only captures road and weather conditions to communicate with the tire's autonomously morphing tread, but also has a self-healing capability that can measure and predict future tire wear to allow automated tire management and enable predictive and proactive maintenance. The morphing tread has a touch of biomimicry with features including a sponge-like groove design that softens to create deeper grooves when you're driving on wet roads. Now, back to the unattached spherical tires. 
The company says that the design will not only improve maneuverability because it can move in any direction, but it will also cater to the needs of autonomous cars. I feel like I've finally mastered the three-point parallel parking job, and Goodyear comes along with a concept that just slides in on a single step. I mean, I complain now, but I'm eager for the time when parallel parking is nothing more than a history question on Trivial Pursuit's Millennial Edition. And that's gonna be a real thing that makes us cry. I'm David Manti, this is Engineering by Design.